quick stop to get some coffee and something to eat because we didn't have no breakfast and we are going to El Junque. It's actually the first time that I've actually gone. And I'm from here, but I've just never gone before. So it's actually pretty cool that we have the opportunity to go and have this experience, this adventure together. Mm. <laughs> we made it to El Junque. I think we're gonna get on a bus right now, or a trolley that will take us down to the mountain or the area that we want to go. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Forget my coffee. So here's the game plan. I, we came to the uh, information center basically just to get a map. Now we have to hop back in the car and drive to the different destinations that are in the map. I think that's the way it works. I feel stupid that I'm actually from here. That is, it's actually the first time I've actually been to El Junque before. Ooh, so we just got to the first cascade. It's pretty funny because I'm actually from here. I just totally forgot how to get here. So far, what you think, Steve? This is amazing. <laughs> Never seen anything like this before. That's, that's for sure. Cascade. I actually been here like probably two years ago. This is actually my first time actually going in deep into the jungles. So far it's looking good. So we are deep, deep in the jungle, the Puerto Rican jungles, and my God, we literally been walking for like 10 minutes. What do you think, Steve, so far? I, I'm feeling my age, let's just put it that way. <laughs> no, it feels, it feels really good, man, it feels really good. That's actually the first time I do this, so I'm actually really, really stoked. We've been walking now for like some good 20, 20 minutes, minutes or so and I am already beat. I'm only 27. Steve is... I'm almost twice your age. Well, he don't want to say the age, but I... I'm 52. <laughs> he's it's 52, okay. I'm 27 and I'm dying. It is too much. I need to take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> we all suffer one way or another. Let's take a break. Those four Super Bowls were long time ago. We need a break. Oh, oh man, everybody's taking a break oh, here. <laughs> cheater. So we are deep, deep in the mountains, in the forest of Puerto Rico, when we totally forgot the number one, the most important thing ever. What is that, Steve? Water. We totally <laughs> forgot to bring or buy water. Oh my god. Well, no, it's even worse. It's in the car in my backpack. <laughs> I totally forgot to change my clothing and put on my bathing suit because we're going to one of the big cascades and now I'm debating either to go in the water or not. But I think we've been walking for like literally like half an hour now. We are covering sweat. I think I'm going to go in the water. Yes or yes. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's no other options. <sighs> Woo! Do you hear that, Steve? Uh, Do hear you it. hear that? Uh, we hear finally it. made it to the huge cascade. Bruh, I am dying. I want to get in the water. I know the water is going to be extremely cold, but I sweat it so much. I don't, I don't care. Literally, maybe 40 minutes of walking, we finally got here, and it's just beyond crazy. It's just beautiful. I'm so ashamed that I'm actually from here, from Puerto Rico, and I've never been here before. It's just my first time. 
No, you're good. I so forgot to bring my backpack, so I'm debating whether to go in the water or not. Because I don't have nowhere to put my stuff, my shoes, my shirt, the camera itself. We'll figure it out. Ah, so it felt really good to actually stop and put our feet in the water after walking so much. Now we're gonna go walk back again to go to the peak. So far, Steve, how does it feel to be deep in the forest of Puerto Rico? This feels primordial. This, this feels like something out of the Jurassic period. <laughs> I thought that on our way back it was gonna be smooth and nice and just downhill and seem but, shorter but <laughs> and seem it, shorter it, mm. it, at all at all look at us sweating all over again I am dry <laughs> in internally I need h2o 911 style we need to, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna drink like the biggest gallon of water ever as soon as we get to the car. But over, overall it's, today is an insane adventure. I am so happy that we were able to just, we didn't even plan it, we rented a car and we just went for it. That's the way it should be done. Go out there, like I always say in the blogs, go out there, experience life. You know, life is so, so short these are the things that you leave behind memories footprints it's steve's first time here in the island i'm trying my best to show him a little bit so that way i can get him hooked so he can come back and we can keep having fun <laughs> and so far there's no question i i will be back i will be back that's that's all that's all that matters it's all that matters it's, it, all that matters is to have a good friendship for life share good moments and just see each other once again either here in puerto rico or me going to boston which i do want to go it's been so long i've been to boston so that's probably an excuse for me just to escape for a few days and see you guys in boston for, for now we're gonna take a few minutes and just relax and continue with the adventure see you in a bit <laughs> So we made it to a different location now. We're gonna hike our way to the summit, to the peak of the mountain. But I think we're lost. We're gonna see the map, see what it says. So it seems like we're going the right way. Man, I feel so stupid that I have tourists tell me, telling me how to get to the place. And I'm actually from here. <laughs> Shoot, oh, wait. Ah, but this time I brought, I brought the backpack with a spare shoes, comfortable shoes, in case I want, we want to get in the water. Also, I brought the bathing suit, which I'm actually hoping to at least get in the water or get a little wet. That's on the lawn. That's what she said. We are hiking our way up. We're literally going to be over a thousand feet off the ground. Steve's ears are popping already. Uh, but... I gotta say, man, this is a crazy, insanely great experience just to be with nature, <sighs> among the trees, listening to the birds. It's just, it's amazing. There's no other words to describe it. If you ever have the opportunity to come to Puerto Rico and do have the chance to come to a Junque, you gotta try it. It's just lovely. We already got to an area which I don't know how far we're at. All I know is that we have, we have walked quite a while and we're not up yet. It says that the tower is going that way. How deep, I don't know, but we're gonna continue our adventure. It's not over yet. <music> Now let's climb to the 
let's go to the top. I can't imagine what people have done in this tower, Steve. <laughs> the stories, if this place could only talk. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. All this hiking stuff. Woo! We made it to the top of the tower. This is just insane. We did it, Steve. We did it indeed. Oh, man. Check this guy. Check this out. So we finally made it all the way to the top. It's been an amazing experience. But the only thing that I can think of is getting back down, having a coffee and something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Steve? Oh, I'm absolutely feeling it now. Oh, man. After all, it has been an amazing experience to get all the way down to the top and be able to experience that entire view of my island. I feel lucky, but at the same time, a bit ashamed that I've actually never done this before. The, uh, the experience has been extremely insane. And, and shout out to the couple that we actually met in the top. So if you ever see this vlog, shout out to you, good luck, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, the trip in my island. Oh man, today two things has happened, which I wish I had the camera on, but it was nearly impossible. I had two backpacks with me and I had the penny board. But be this morning when I was on my way to meet with Steve, I was on the penny board and I biffed it so bad. <laughs> the penny board went one side, I flew the other way. I just wish I had the camera. And right now, we are working our way down again because it's that time of the day where we get hangry. <laughs> hangry. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I need, we need to fill our bellies with something. I want food so bad. But I was walking down and I biffed it again. I almost busted my ass. Just those moments that I wish I had the camera on. He just wants me to carry him down. That's what he wants. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. I mean, uh, uh, up, hey, how you doing? Oh, nope, see? nope, I'm good. He, I, he just yeah, biffed I, it. See, I so, was talking okay. about myself. So I, I biffed it. Star. <laughs> he just did. He just did. <laughs> Uh, today has been an insanely great day today with Steve. We both had a blast today in the forest. The day has come to an end. I'm on my penny board, on my way to the car to head back home. So, I'll see you guys when I get to the house. Today, today has been an insane day. Shout out to Steve for tagging along with me on today's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a blast going all the way down there to the peak, to the summit, and seeing that, having that encounter with nature was insane. I wanted to close the vlog before taking a shower, but I just couldn't, I couldn't resist taking a shower, so I sweated today like crazy. The, the heat today was just insane, but after all, it was a great, great day. So with that, be good, do good, love life, live life. Stretch your hand to those who might be in need because my friend Karma, Karma's a bee. Keep your feet on the ground, stay humble. See you guys tomorrow on a different adventure. What we're gonna do, I have no idea, but right now, I'm gonna kick it, lay back, watch a little bit of TV, and go to sleep. Catch you guys tomorrow. Till now, adios. I'm so, I'm so